This one is about swarm secrets and configs and how you update them in production without taking down your services. Uh, what is the best way to update configs in Docker Swarm? At the moment, I remove the stack and redeploy it. I am hoping there is a better way. There are much better ways. Definitely, you do not need to remove the, the stack because that would break everything, right? So you what you can do now is you can essentially change the name in your stack files. And there's several ways to do it. But if you go, let's see, let's go look at the compose file format. Because if you're using a stack, you're going to be using a compose file to build that stack, right? And if we look in here at um, config, let's see, uh, configs. So under configs, one of the newer options is, let's see. Are we on version three? Yeah. Um, can, well. Oh, you know what? We're in the part, the wrong part of the file. This is in the service. So when you go down, here we go. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. If you go down and you um, change where you're defining your configs and secrets at the very bottom of your file, there's a newer attribute here called name. And what that can allow you to do is essentially, let's say you have one config and it's, it's you actually are using it in multiple services, right? So you've got those services and you've got the, the definition in each service, right? Where you're mapping the config into a file inside of the service, right? And you're, you have the name in there. So what happens is if you've already created a config in Swarm through a stack file, and then you change that config file on your deployment machine. So maybe it's, uh, let's say it's an Apache config, right? Because we were talking about that. And then you dump it into your config file, you change that, and then you try to do a stack update. The stack will correctly look at the file, realize that that Apache config file has changed, and try to recreate the config inside the swarm, but it will then fail saying, I can't do this because um, the file already exists in swarm. The swarm already has this config and it will prevent you from updating. The way that you fix that is you simply change the name here. And you, that way you can only, you only need to change the, the, the file, the actual swarm file. So let me, not swarm file, the, the compose file. And I'm trying to think if I have a good example of this where I can show you. I might actually be able to show you in dogs versus cats. Um, so if you go to my dog versus cat repo, that I'm going to put that into the chat. HTTPS. Oops. No, it's just HTTP. Dog versus cat. This is a, a place where I have some stack file demos. And w let's see. I'm going to look at one real quick for, mm, let's look at this one. Okay, so you see down here at the, at the bottom down here where I have the secret name. And I have, so I have the actual object name here, which is DB password. And that is referred to up here at the top inside of here. It's also referred to in this service up at the top somewhere. Hmm. Actually, I don't have it in here. I should have it up there in, the, in, the, in the, the top there. It should be referred to multiple times, so it's a bad example. But the point is, is that what I can do is I can simply go down here and just add an incremental number here. And then the rest of the file will work. It will update properly. You can do a Docker stack deploy and it will all work. And if you're thinking, oh, I have to edit my config files, my, my compose files every single time, no, you don't have to. Another thing you can do is use an environment variable here and then set that environment variable before you run the stack deploy. So maybe you have an environment variable that automatically is the date or something, and you can sort of look at this. I think I've actually seen people that write a script that will set an environment variable and it'll intelligently 
change it based on the file date of the config file or the secret file. And it'll go look at those, see if they've changed. It'll do essentially a diff on them. And then if they haven't changed, it won't update it here, right? Because you only want to update them in the, st in the stack if they've actually truly changed. And I don't have the, that script handy, uh, at least I don't think. I might have thrown it in here. Um, oh, there we go. Hash config secret. Look at that. So if you jump into there, this is, I, I didn't actually invent this. Someone else sh showed me a good example. Um, and you could run this command, this, this shell script, which would set a value and that would be used by your stack file. So you'd always need to make sure you'd run this before you do a Docker stack deploy. But essentially what this does is across many different stack files, it will set an environment variable so that if I do a bunch of stack updates, it will intelligently decide when to update that config. So I hope that makes sense. That gets you a little bit farther. The short answer here is just go change that name attribute, which is optional down at the very bottom of your, conf your compose file. And that should do it for you. You won't have to change your stack by deleting it, which is a lot of work, right? That you wouldn't want to do that in production. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe and the notification bell down there will let you know when I go live every week to take your questions on Docker and DevOps. You can watch these videos over here or you can just go watch those cat videos you've been meaning to watch.